Okay, so the very first item I would like to share with you all is something that I really, really like. It's an old wood shop project, probably from the 1950s or 60s. You can tell just by the nail work that's on here, like this is not a newer item. I paid $3 for this. I really like the nautical decals that are on here. I would assume these are probably made by Meyer Cord. I like the seagulls and the um, sailboat that's on it. Like I said, this is probably a woodshop piece from the 50s or 60s. At first, I kind of thought maybe it was 70s, 80s, because I know arts and crafts, that look was very popular at that time. So that's what made me think that. But then when I looked at the decals on it, like I took a really closer look at the decals, I definitely think this is older than that. I mean, it's a cool piece. I could display it in a bathroom or... I don't know, possibilities are endless with it. And it is finished, so it's got a glossy, I guess, glossy finish. It's smooth and shiny, and then I should have said, it has a glossy finish. So you get the picture. And it is, it's got seagulls on the side, and then it's got the same thing on this side as well. So just a very cool piece, and $3 was a great price. So I've had this for quite a while. And as I'm cleaning up this guest room, trying to get it back to a normal state of what it should be, a guest room, I forgot that I had this awesome Georges Briard three-quart ice bucket in the original box. It was $3.99, and this is what it looks like. It's a gold color, and it's a three-quart, seven-inch bucket. It's got the original Georges Briard ink tag on it. I would say probably the 60s, so this is definitely something that's very collectible. Georges Briard is a really good name, at least from what I've seen. I'm going to clean it up just a little bit, and then I will probably end up listing it. Gold is not really my color, but I know somebody who loves vintage barware or just likes Georges Briard stuff will definitely love this. So before we jump into the larger items, I thought you might want to check this out. I do collect mid-century dishware when I can find it on the cheap. This is Cannonburg Temperama. It looks like it's a dinner plate, judging by the size of it. I paid 99 cents for it, and this was put out in, I believe, 1961. Here is the back. Oh, and that's really bad. It does have crazing on the back and all over the plate, but this is the part that you're not going to see, so I don't really mind that. Here is the mark for Temperama by Cannonburg Pottery, which was in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania, by Duragloss. I don't think there's any crazing on the dish itself. No, it's just on the bottom. But look at that atomic design. That is just so cool. And for 99 cents, and if you can see under there, it looks like somebody put this at a yard sale for a dollar and it didn't sell, so they donated it. And then I got it. Okay, so this is not necessarily old old well it's from 1997 so it's got some age to it it's not new unfortunately but that's all right it's a basic fun little mini pocket pinball game it was $2.99 these you would see at craft stores target walmart back in the day but i do collect the old basic fun stuff when i can find it in the box or in the packaging because it is cool and they just don't make stuff like this anymore and this one is the Jester, so kind of like the um, Art Deco looking figure that we see, whether it be 80s Art Deco or 20s Art Deco. So let me just tell you, this is all from a mishmash of different stores in my area, so it's not in any particular order. So this was really, really cute. This is a cardinal, I guess it's looking over a nest with a baby in it. It was a dollar. That'll probably end up in a live sale. No marking on it to indicate who it was made by. No cracks or chips on it. But yeah, that was definitely meant to be for a live sale. Because that's really nice. That would look great with spring or even fall. Yeah, and I don't see a crack or a chip on it. Or a repair. So this was really cool. This was... 20 cents and 
It's got a deer on it. It's a little mini tea set or teapot made in Japan. Probably if I don't decide to keep it, I'll probably put it in a live sale or I will probably just put it in my junk jar because I think that's kind of neat to throw in there and for 20 cents. Can't go wrong, right? So depending on what I decide to do, you may see this in the future. You may not. Now this piece caught my eye because I thought, and you all will have to let me know in the comments, I got this from the Goodwill that is 99 cents everything in the store. It's a cornucopia candlestick, and for some reason I thought it was Mauve Agate by Hager, but I could be wrong because it's not marked on the bottom. Now I do know, based on what I've seen in antique malls and in other places, that usually the candlesticks are not marked with Hager on it, it's usually the console bowl that is. But correct me if I'm wrong, but I have a feeling this might be mob agate for Hager. But I, like I said, I could be wrong. But I did pay only a dollar for it, so I'm not going to be too disappointed if it's not mob agate. And if it happens to be my mob agate, I might either look it up and see if it's worth anything, and if not, I'll just send it to uh, Mary Beth and Laura from Fatford Finds, because I know that she loves that stuff. But then again, um, let me know in the comments below if you think this is mob agate or just maybe some hobbyist piece. But it does say two of three on the bottom. So I kind of took a chance with that for a dollar. Again, not a really old piece. This is about uh, 22 years old. I did pay $5 for it. It's a Gillette Machine 3 razor. And yeah, like I said, it was five bucks. So I'll about triple my money on that. So I'll probably get about $15 for just this razor itself because it's brand new in the box. So that wasn't too exciting. These I bought at the Goodwill. They're little roly-poly glasses. I don't know if these are the Target uh, glasses or if these are authentic Dorothy Thorpe but I I don't know they're nice they're not heavy heavy but they're thicker glass and I paid a buck each for them so I took a chance with these the silver lining on the rim is actually in pretty good shape but I don't think there's any marking on here so this could either be Dorothy Thorpe or um, repros from Target took a shot for a buck each Now this is really cool. It might just be an art sculpture, like art glass sculpture. I don't know if it's vintage, but it's definitely hand blown. It's green and it's got bubbles in it. So you can definitely see that this was a hand blown piece. But I think it's really cool. And like I said, I don't know if it's vintage. Like when I say vintage, I mean like 70s. But I really like the color on it and it was only $3. I don't know if it was just a vase or if it was just like some piece of decoration like for modern 70s. But either way, I think it's really cool, and I love the color on it. So this was $1.50. I think it's from the 60s, 70s. It's just a cutie doll. This will most likely end up in a live sale. I will take the outfit off because this is absolutely awful. I would never even stick my own... Oh, looks like there's a squeaker where the nether regions should be sorry i didn't mean to do that <laughs> but um if this is a girl she is really cute i'm gonna get this really awful dress off of her and just sell her as a naked cupie because that's what cupies are aren't they naked figures anyway i think this may be 70s like mid 70s i think is when they came out with these rubber toys i thought it was supposed to squeak but anyway the dress will be off of her when i sell her at the sale and i will clean her up as best i can I did find another piece of Morton pottery. It was $2. It's a white horse with a tree stump. It does have a chunk missing out of it on the back there, but you're not going to even really see that when you uh, have it sitting down on the table. So that will also end up in a live sale. I think somebody's going to really like that. And this would actually be great for fall if you're into that sort of thing. Alright, this was actually a really good find, and I don't know how vintage it is, 
It was 99 cents. It's a little Fiesta creamer. It's white. And it's got the Fiesta mark on the bottom there. But it doesn't... Does it say USA on it? I don't think it does. Or maybe it just says it very faintly underneath the IES. But it's a little Fiesta pitcher creamer. And there it was. 99 cents. No cracks or chips on it. I did look it up like I do mostly with my things when I'm thrifting. And one of these sold for $16. So... Either I hold on to it or I sell it for $16. So, like I said, I know that mark is really not doing it justice because it's so much easier to see in person. But I, I thought it was interesting. I knew it was Fiesta when I picked it up because just the look of it. And yeah, white really goes with anything, doesn't it? Alright. So this, I guess, was in somebody's booth. A long time ago and they asked 10 cents for it and I guess they took it and originally they, it was five dollars and then they marked it to 10 cents someone must have bought it or not been able to sell it and donated it I paid a dollar which is perfectly fine with me it's kind of like a utopia looking thing with a clock on it I don't think it was an aquarium piece because the paint on it is too nice and it's in better shape than usually when you find the stuff that's made for an aquarium the ceramic figures but this would just be cool, like, for some kind of display. I mean, I'll put that in a live sale, and I'm sure somebody's going to want that. So this was $1.75. It's an elephant bank, and it's made by Holiday Fair. I actually just bought another one of these at a vendor mall for like, I think it was like $7 and 20% off. So it was like $5 and 60 cents, which is still a good price considering what people are loving with elephants nowadays, or at least it's trending in the live sale community with the buyers. So this was really cool and I am definitely going to be putting this in a sale. I might wage it and see what happens, but you never know. Alright, so you all know I love finding the uh, vintage zippers for Jen, the pudgy picker, and her sister Kim, who, she makes a lot of really good stuff with her zippers. I think she makes purses and stuff, so I got four of them for 99 cents, so 25 cents a piece, you can't really go wrong, can you? Okay, so we are getting down to the last four items for this haul. While I'm not really crazy about, like, an avocado-ish green, something told me to buy this. It's an ashtray, and it's got a sailboat in it. It was $2. No cracks or chips on it. I don't think it was Treasure Craft, because it's not marked. But I could be wrong. And it's an ashtray. I can picture this being in my living room if I ever get my own house. At some point in time. Maybe. But, I mean, it's definitely got 60s vibes, maybe even possibly as late as the early 70s. But I thought it was kind of cool and just something that I couldn't leave behind. So what do you all think? So this piece, this screams like Asiana mid-century to me. It was actually half off of that price, so I paid $275 for it. No markings on it to say where it was made, but I definitely think this is 50s, 60s. The flower that's right there is in good shape, no breaks on the petals, which is very unusual because usually when you find something as uh, fragile as that, it's usually damaged. But yeah, that's, that's in really good shape, and I will definitely be putting this in a sale. I think somebody will really, really like that. Okay, so this was six dollars it's marked usa 1871 it's got that look at that it's got crazing in it but that just adds to the charm of it i don't know if it's mccoy or who made it but yeah it's got this and i think that might just be crazing in the glaze because it's not cracked anywhere at least that i can see oh maybe it is cracked i don't know i would turn it this way but it's a really cool piece for $6. It's heavy duty. I think it's definitely got deco lines to it. But like I said, 
I love the color. So that might definitely be cool for like a nautical, rustic kind of a vibe, which is what I get from it. So I haven't decided whether or not I'm selling this or if I'm going to be keeping it. I do have off next weekend, which is a huge relief. And I will be doing a four sellers, one sale on my channel. I'll have four people or four other sellers on my channel doing a sale. I won't say who it is because I want you all to be surprised. And I think it'll be fun. Okay, and the last piece that I'd like to share with you all is something that I thought was really interesting. I paid 75 cents for it. And it's not marked, but something about it just was really, it was just one of those things that was really interesting to me. And usually when something's that interesting and inexpensive, I'll pick it up. To me, based on what I've seen from other uh, YouTubers that buy this kind of stuff, this to me looks like a candy scoop because of how small it is. Well, it's not really small, but you get the picture. But I believe it's pressed glass and the images are raised so you can feel them. There's no marking on it to say who it was made by, but it's it's really cool. Like you got the beach and then you've got like a lighthouse or is that like a island thing? And then you've got like a woodsy area and the handles even got great detail on it. I paid 75 cents for this. I love it. There's just something about it to me that just is very cool. And while I don't know who made it or even if it's vintage, I think it's absolutely incredible. So, well, maybe it's not even that old, because maybe there was a mold, because there's that mark right there that looks like it was made on, like, like I said, I'm not an expert, but this is just from what I've heard. Like, one side was made on one part of the mold, and then it was, another side was made on the other side of the mold, and then they put it together when they made it. But like I said, look at that embossed pressed detail. Like, it's a raised pattern, which is awesome. I've never seen anything like it before. I just think... It's, it's just neat, and I, I will definitely be holding on to this because it's so interesting and different. So, yeah, that was my quick haul. I hope you all liked it. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to know when new videos are posted. All of the links to my social media accounts via Instagram are down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys!